Sergei Vasily Lomachenko, Sunderland is one of the greats of all time in this fabulous sport and how they're going to enjoy it. So many lights and videos being taken. It's packed, sold out, and there's only one man for this moment. The legend himself, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, from the sold out old arena, London, England, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Olympic gold versus Olympic gold. Boxing fans, are you ready? Let's get this party started! Coming to the ring first for this championship fight, please welcome the challenger, Cool Hand professional following on from that gold in London 2012. Here comes the highly likable and highly dedicated cool hand Luke Campbell. Some say it's mission impossible but Campbell has real quality and skills and the team Matt are adamant that he shocks the world. And the most important person to believe that Adam is Luke Campbell himself. As long as he believes it that's the most important thing and I, I do believe that Luke is as good if not better than anyone else that Lomachenko has fought today in his professional career. He's the south boy, he's, a, he's, he's got reach, he's got real good boxing IQ and I think I think after six, seven rounds, Luke Campbell is still very much be in this fight. It's just if he can sustain that and keep it going over the 12 rounds. take his seat. Alexander Rusik here too. Everyone awaits Loma. And now making his 
entrance to the ring, the defending world champion, the man known as Loma. The Lomachenko!
Mexico, Omar Mintoun, and from Canada, Benoit Roussel. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, World Championship veteran referee, Victor Laughlin. And now, the officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. So for the thousands here at the sold-out O2 Arena London, and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! And he was in first, fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer Shane McGuigan and wearing blue with black. His official weight, full carbon, nine stone, eight pounds, four ounces. Since capturing the Olympic gold, he now has a record of the profession of 20 victories. 15 wins by knockout, only two defeats. He's the former international champion, former Commonwealth champion, and former WBC silver lightweight champion from home, England, the lightweight with his trainer, Anatoly Lomachenko. Wearing blue, trimmed with yellow, and officially weighing it at nine stone, eight pounds, eight ounces. He's a two-time Olympic gold medal champion. 
with a professional record of 13 victories. 10 wins by knockout, only one defeat, three times a world champion, and considered by many to be pound for pound, the best there is. He's the former featherweight and super featherweight world champion, the reigning, defending WBA, WBO, and reigning unified lightweight champion of the world, Vasily Lobo. Okay, Judge, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch them. There's been a wonderful and respectful build-up all week as the sparkling diamond of the ring, Vasily Lomachenko, puts his WBA and WBO lightweight belts on the line and the vacant WBC title to the pot. All the treasure for Luke Campbell to try and collect, to aim for. Two Olympic champions, two swift southpaws. Is it very good versus elite? Or are we, as occasionally does happen in this most dramatic of sports, we're in for something quite extraordinary. Campbell gets into ring. That height and reach, and maybe strength advantages. And you see how Campbell trying to put the pressure on Lomachenko. He doesn't want to wait on Lomachenko, make him comfortable. He's trying to put the pressure on, but you see, trying to maintain a proper distance where Luke can be the one that's comfortable. For now, Lomachenko kind of feeling him out, but we'll see how Lomachenko reacts to this. Yeah, I think Luke's doing the right thing. Get out there and make stuff happen. Don't wait for things to start happening to you. You get out there, take the center of the ring, and be the boss. Easier said than done, but, you know, he's doing the right thing so far. Keep it long, keep it backed up behind that jab. He occasionally gets off to a slow start, Luke Campbell. He has been on the canvas a couple of times early, once in that first world title challenge to Jorge Linares that we were there for in Los Angeles. But he boxed well to make it really close. And he had a difficult situation with his father passing just before. You see Loma giving the different looks, trying to bend the levels, trying to give different looks, and trying to see what Campbell gives him off of those different looks. For now, Campbell not giving much. Nothing, a lot, not, nothing much being created as they feel each other out. Yeah, massive feeling out process here. Lavachenko having a look at Campbell. Campbell not giving anything away. A lot of fighting going on. Yep, the high-class technicians at work. They go back years. They boxed alongside each other at so many tournaments, but normally Campbell at the higher weight. But he told us this week he knew this time would arrive. He would meet... Vasily Lomachenko in the ring. Lomachenko, who's coming off that crushing, spectacular win over our own Anthony Crawler out in the States. Crawler saying he believed he'd win it going in, but within the first couple of minutes, he knew he was in real trouble. I like that left, straight left to the body that Campbell's been throwing. You know, that's going to keep Lomachenko at distance. You see how he's trying to apply that mental pressure, trying to put Luke into a panic mode. Luke so far holding his positioning very well, even though he's backing up a little bit. Yep, just trying to get his jab going. Lomachenko, that steely look in the eyes. And now he's got center ring. The feeling out process, not surprising here, Paulie. Yeah, and they're both kind of trading, be becoming the aggressor, becoming the stalker. But Luke has gotten off a couple extra punches. Of course, he's got the range advantage and the distance advantage, and that's what he wants to maintain. Yep, you know? body shot from Campbell. To the casual fan, Adam, there's not a lot going on, but trust me, there's loads going on in there right now. A good nice. shot by Campbell. Yeah, nice left hand, and Lomachenko just nods some appreciation. First success here for Cool Hand Luke, the big underdog. That was a good solid left hook from uh, Luke Campbell. Yeah, Luke having himself a pretty good round. He didn't panic when Lomachenko put the pressure on. He was able to maintain his composure.
excellent start from Luke Campbell. Didn't look overawed at all. That relaxed positivity he's had all week. He's been seeing a sports psychologist for the last year. He's got himself in with Shane McGuigan. and they've got a great partnership and they believe, man. They do and, you know, sometimes everyone says what they're supposed to say the week of a fight. But if that had been su superficial confidence, trust me, that would have left him on the ring walks. He was left in the ring a long time. There was high-low reel played overhead. The music was, was unnerving, spine-tingling. If that confidence and self-belief was superficial, that would already have left him. He started really well there in that first round. I gave it to him. I thought he sailed really well. Paulie gave it to him. Andy Clark gave it to him as well. And Vasily Lomachenko is not used to losing rounds so early, of course. The second of 12. If you need the identification, the Ukrainian colours and the fluorescent boots of the magical matrix. Vasily Lomachenko from Odessa in the Ukraine and the royal blue of Luke Campbell, so proud of his hometown of Hull. That's and straight left to the chest, that, and that's going to be a key punch for Campbell. It'll keep him at bay, it'll, it'll stop him from walking in on him. Just inching closer, Lomachenko, and he will soon start to unleash those volleys, the angles, the... But you can see he's trying to find his distance right now. That's why he can't unleash anything because Campbell's been the one controlling the distance. Even when Loma's been putting the pressure on, Campbell's done a good job of maintaining his height, his distance. And Loma has to cut just a bit more distance for, as being the shorter guy. But he's brilliant at working out his opponents. Yeah, in he's quite stunning fashion, Matt. He's giving him lots of head movement, lots of upper body movement, faints. He's pretending to come, will I come, will I not come? And then all of a sudden, just as he sees you relax, he does that quick step and closes the distance. So Campbell's got to be, uh, got to stay super switched on here. He's got to keep it long. Keep driving that straight left into the chest of Lomachenko. Just an added spring in the step here from Lomachenko. Campbell now, trying to keep his boxing together, but... Not a lot landing clean, but you can see what Lomachenko does. Creates that mental pressure. Gives you those different looks. There's a nice jab. Yep, he's beginning to get his jab through, and there's the left hand as well. So he, he, gives you, he changes his height, he changes the look, and in the meantime, he's pressuring you all as he's doing all this, so you kind of start to wonder where the punches are going to come from. Matt, they say it's impossible to solve the puzzle that's body Lomachenko, but he solves the key, the puzzles very quickly, doesn't he? He's already changing the pattern as early as the second round, and he's beginning to beat Campbell to the jab. Yeah, backing him up there behind a double jab. That ain't really where Luke Campbell wants to be, and you know, he wants to keep it at distance, wants to... Uh, I'd like to see you throw more straight lefts to the chest to Lamachenko when he's moving that upper body. Don't try and be too precise. Don't try and hit him on the head. Just, just drive him in. Drive that straight left into the chest. Drive him backwards. Stop him advancing on you. Not quite as composed in the second. Campbell tries the body shot though as Lamachenko comes in. And Campbell has landed a couple of decent body shots this round. Kind of gone unnoticed, but a little sneaky shots. And Loma has backed off since that last one. Well, he has the natural advantage as a big, lightweight Luke Campbell. No question about that, but most people didn't think he had many other advantages in there. Lomachenko with a body shot, Campbell holding his own. Yeah, and getting back into the center of the ring and then landing a body shot. That's what he wants to do. He needs to be very aware of where he is in the ring at all the time. Quick combination at the end of the second from Lomachenko. Who took that one? Is that what? Is that one each? I think so. I thought he, uh, Lamachenko closed the distance better in that round. He uh, landed to back him up behind a double jab, landed some good body shots. But Campbell also landed some good body shots. A very close round, Adam, edge towards Lamachenko in that one. Yeah, that's added towards Lomachenko too, but Campbell did do some good work as well. This is her father, Anatoly Lomachenko, who first had the gloves on him when he was a baby. He's put him through so many endurance tests over the years. And we have some more boxing royalty at ringside tonight. Andre Ward, Wes Carl Frosch, and Tim Bradley commentating for our colleagues ESPN just alongside us. So many want to be here. Not just to witness Lomachenko, but to see if Luke Campbell can become the 
most difficult challenge for Lomachenko as a pro who's beaten the likes of Jose Pedraza, Jorge Linares, Guillermo Rigondo, Nicholas Walters. That was a big win. And Gary Russell looks so impressive as well. Yeah, I mean, his resume so far has done it. Look, you know, 15 pro fights, it's just unbelievable. One defeat to Orlando Salido when they took the gamble to go for a world title in only his second fight. We were there for his pro debut against Jose Ramirez. And Salido had weight on him and he just had hustled him. And I don't think you can read too much into that. And I, and I also want to, I want to let the viewers know that not a lot seems to be going on, right? Like, like Matt Mackler said before, but a lot is actually going on. Maybe not a lot of punches are physically being thrown, but this mental stress they're both putting on each other, giving each other different looks from such close range, they have to be constantly at high alert. It can be fatigued even without looking physically fatiguing. Very fatiguing, brain power drains the battery and there's so much nervous energy being used up here because the concentration factor is so high. Exactly, you know. And you, and you get physically fatigued even though it, it looks like it's just mental. The shots by Campbell there. That comes Lomachenko just out of range there. That jab wasn't though, straight through the guard of Campbell. He's got some very sneaky shots in his own repertoire but can be open defensively. Down in this ferry ring, when he lost for the first time against Ivan Mendy. I'd like to see Campbell use that straight left to the chest. Like I say, the, the head movement, the upper body movement. Big left hand from Lomachenko, and a body shot, and another left hand. And Campbell has to take those. Minute left of the third round, and just... A little shift up in gear there from Lomachenko, and so accurate. You know, Lomachenko's head movement, his anticipation, his reflexes are so good. You don't want to be overly, you don't think too much to be overly precise. You know, if you hit him in the chest and you offset him, knock him off balance, drive him back, you know, that's good enough at, at this stage of the fight. Campbell's back on the front foot. Loads of sparring with Josh Taylor, who's had such a great couple of years, and will be back in action October 26th in that World Super Series final. But is that good enough for this man, Lomachenko, who's getting into his groove and really starting to manoeuvre his way around the ring very cleverly? That's a nice up from Campbell. Yeah, both guys landing some good sneaky shots. Both guys showing some real good technique in this round. Yeah, this is real high-tech stuff. The real battle of chess going on there right now. And, and the action starting to open up this round. The most action-packed round both ways. That's that nice short left hand. Snapped the head back at Campbell and he kind of pounced on quickly. Good body shot driving in there too. But Campbell had some success himself in that round. He's had an adventurous career, Luke Campbell. He's been with Jorge Rubio out in Miami, taking himself away from his loved ones in Hull. Now settled with the McGuigan team. George Groves has been a big influence in the build-up. And he's been mentally and physically strong. He's doing OK here, Luke Campbell. Fourth round. Lomachenko might be 2-1 up on the cards. But Campbell still got that sense of belief. How are the legs looking for Campbell? I think they look good, they look pretty strong, pretty solid. He's, he's, uh, he's come out here well in the fourth, he's bouncing on his toes. As we said, Adam, sometimes it looks like there's not a lot going on, but trust me, there's loads going on. There's a lot of nervous energy being exerted there. Well, they've both got such stunning pedigree since they were young. Yeah, and, and both guys really, it's a battle of position as well. Even when one guy gets put on the defensive, they hold the, hold the position so well, even on from a defensive posture. So that means the other guy cannot get over aggressive, otherwise he might walk into a punch. Both guys do a good job of keeping that solid posture, even on the defensive. Campbell trying the uppercut. He can punch a bit. And he said to us that he's got to try 
A lot of different things in there. He can't just box. He's going to have to rough up Lomachenko. But is that possible? Lomachenko now getting that jab flowing. And listen to the crowd loving this. Yeah, just seems to be getting a bit closer here now, Lomachenko. About time to spoke with Campbell on, Sharon Campbell, Campbell. Yep, there's the class of Campbell, who was brilliant winning that Olympic gold in London as Lomachenko won his. Campbell just hasn't yet become that world champion that so many thought he might become, and he's got such a daunting task in front of him to do it but again positivity on the front foot this is good from Campbell yeah good from Campbell I like to see him try and back Lomachenko up behind the double jab backhand Campbell going back to the body this round for some good shots this was the round that Anthony Crawler was not a body shot that's good Campbell body shot back Campbell. Campbell. and a lot of appreciation again from Lomachenko who's learning things about Luke Campbell in there maybe just as much as Campbell is about Loma yeah, Campbell, the best success Campbell has had is that been actually to the body in this fight back comes Lomachenko, one of his own that brain's ticking over, it is that nervous energy it's the brain power out of it, drains the battery, you know, there's such this huge boxing IQ for both I think he's been yeah, the body a little bit there good left hook to the body from Lomachenko Look at him just stalking and eyeing up Campbell. Can he hold himself together here, Luke Campbell, in the most difficult of circumstances? The self-belief is great. He's in the fight. Very much so. And quite a lot of people predicted Lomachenko would have got the job done by now. Alexander Usyk, the best friend of Vasily Lomachenko, he's a popular figure here too. Tony Bellew just behind us with a wry smile on his face. Tony, who believes Alexander Usyk's brilliant, but Vasily Lomachenko is the best. It's a prime Roy Jones. So Luke Campbell's doing very well, if that's the case. He's doing brilliant. Luke Campbell, there's a, there's a good body shot. We see the replay there with Lamachenko. I think Luke felt that one, but he landed a couple of good body shots himself. Such high-tech, high-quality stuff going on in there. Matron's Eddie Hearn promoting alongside Bob Arams. Top rank, you also have Terence Crawford. An argument there for a pound-for-pound pound king. Remember when he came over? And dethroned Ricky Burns, who'd have thought he'd go on to the success he has. Crawford, Lomachenko's first appearance in Britain. Luke Campbell at home, and he's taking this opportunity here, Matt. Yeah, and the more he holds the centre of the ring and the more he backs Lomachenko up, I feel the more successful he's going to be. Lomachenko, when he's fainting and he's coming forward and he's edging, that's when he exerts all that brain pressure on you where you, you start getting nervous, you start switching, he's able to faint you with his feet, with his head movement, with his eyes. I think the more Luke Campbell can hold the centre of the ring, the better. Freeweight world champion, but remember he began at featherweight. So this size, all the talk about could he go up to... 10 stone or 140 pounds and first of all he's got to deal with a larger guy in Luke Campbell and, also, and a clever boxer Paulie yeah no, absolutely and I think another important thing about Luke also holding the center of the ring besides the fact that you know he changes the way that oh good shot by Campbell there takes away the, the pressure of Lomachenko is also that it puts pressure on Lomachenko the same mental pressure Lomachenko is applying because Luke keeps his positioning so well can also be applied back to Lomachenko and so you know it, Luke can also apply that mental and physical pressure and stress Lomachenko a little bit when he's walking him down the way he does because his positioning also and balance also stays very good and the crowd really getting behind Campbell because they see he's in this fight and although Lomachenko will be looking to up the tempo go through these bursts and surely put Campbell under some sustained pressure at some point soon Campbell, Campbell looking for the upper knee yeah just you could see Lomachenko leaning in with the right the lead right jab and Campbell tried to time it with the loop oh. Oh. Lovely shot, that's the razor sharp speed and a body shot from Lomachenko and he can just go through the motions so quickly. Campbell just needing the ropes there. 
into the last minute of the fifth and that might be the difference just subtly the way he can do that yeah those uh, lead left hand slamming that was a good shot caught, caught Campbell he was trying to time Lomachenko onto the uppercut and he was open for the left hand over the top which Lomachenko yeah. seen and, and punished him for interestingly I think Loma, well, Campbell did land the body shot with that when he clicked that left hand he has landed a few body shots tonight, Luke Campbell, and again he goes downstairs under that elbow of Lomachenko, looking for any possible weakness that so many haven't seen and haven't found. Clipped on top of the head, but back comes Lomachenko. Close this fifth. Good oh, left hand though, him. and again Lomachenko, he's hurt here, That's Campbell. And he needs to survive if he can to the end of the round because Lomachenko's a predator. He's a brilliant finisher. Campbell bent over in pain. And there's the class oozing out of Vasily Lomachenko. All of a sudden, it looks a totally different story. And that's what also takes him mentally out of the fight. This is how Lomachenko gets guys to quit. Slowly, slowly, but surely. Body shots, head shots, and mental pressure. Nicholas Walters. Exactly. Get himself back together, he's done ever so well. First four, four and a half rounds. Can he survive from this little crisis? Well, this is where he's going to need unbelievable mental toughness to, to recover his belief and his confidence that he can still win this fight. No, he's lost the last four rounds, and, and that was his worst round. He was a bit of a cry, mini crisis there with about 10 seconds to go, and, and on the bell, got hurt with a body shot. It's difficult now in the corner when you're sitting there and you're listening to your coach to not deep down in your soul believe this fight is slipping away from me now. So we're gonna, I think it's important now that he comes out here and gets himself back into the fight. It was hard pressed to find anybody outside of Luke Campbell's camp that thought he was going to win this fight, and a thunderous jab at the beginning of the sixth from Vasily Lomachenko. People were saying it will be the biggest upset since Randolph Turpin beat Sugar Ray Robinson in 1951 if Campbell can pull it off. Big, big success for Lomachenko at the end of the fifth. Yeah, and he comes out of the start of the sixth round and hits him with a good stiff jab, which knocks the head back of Campbell. Both of you, though, felt Campbell would be in the fight at this point. Yeah, and, and he's competitively in the fight. He's, he's losing the rounds, but he's not being totally dismantled. Aside from that last round where he was hurt with the body shot, Campbell competes in every round. It's just Loma has a few more wrinkles than he does. Tries to work the body again, Campbell. Lomachenko knows he can hurt his man. It was late on in the last, but there's plenty of time. Yeah, but the more, war the more worrying part for me, Adam, is as Lamachenko found his wrist, uh, his distance, as he found his range, his timing, is, is it his rhythm, is it there now? You know, Luke's recovered from the body shot, he's over that. Oh, good double hook there by Luke Campbell. Yep. But, but good shot. He's being aggressive, Campbell, but that will leave gaps. Yeah, he's recovered from the body shot, but has his confidence recovered? I mean, that's, that will help his confidence. Shane That's McGregor sure. shouting out instructions from the blue corner. They've worked so hard on tactics, but how on earth do you really prepare for this for Vasily Lomachenko? It's those feet, Adam. Oh, right unbelievable. And again, just creep through. It, it's the pressure he applies on you with his feet, just, just constantly edging there, just out of distance, in the distance out of distance, in distance, just constantly draining you with his pressure. Well, he does the extraordinary, doesn't he? Holding his breath underwater for four, four and a half minutes. The balance, the juggling, all the tricks. Sparring with three different fighters. He's, he's got it all. His speed of foot and his agility, it's frightening. And his subtle distance changes really can be confusing as well. You know, he subtly changes the distance. He gets you to bite, he steps back. He, oh, you don't bite, he'll step in and punch. And he does it on the drop of a dime. He's a fabulous craftsman and an absolute privilege to watch up close, isn't he? Campbell going for a left hook. He's trying really brave here, Campbell, to chuck the hooks. Shake at the head from Lomachenko. But he's going for it again, Campbell. And the crowd getting behind him. 
See, Campbell stays live. I don't know if he's consistent enough to win the rounds, but he keeps himself alive in there. Lands the occasional good shot that forces Lomachenko to respect him a bit. Halfway through. There's Lindsay. Lick Swipe at ringside alongside the legend that's Barry McGuigan, whose son Shane in the corner, and other son Jake involved very much so. Our hearts go out to Barry for the loss of their daughter Danica recently. Tight knit family, the McGuigans, and they will have given Luke Campbell so much confidence ahead of this, and he's halfway through. He's not winning, he's probably four rounds or so behind, but he's still competitive. Yeah, he's in the fight. Adam, he's, he's, he's coming off second best, but he's in the fight. It's just, I think Lamachenko now has started to work him out that bit more. He's just can loop, make the adjustments to go again. Second half, remember the vacant WBC lightweight title on the line. And Vasily Lomachenko's WBA and WBO nine stone nine belts. Lomachenko, who has exhibited uh, the power End of the fifth and in the sixth, Campbell had that good opening round. But have you given Luke anything after that? Hard to. It's been difficult to. He's, he's shown himself to be live in moments of the round, of, of certain rounds, but not enough to actually pull the round out, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm the same, Adam. I gave, I gave Campbell the first round, but since then, I've given Lomachenko everything. But whatever happens from here, his reputation will be enhanced, Luke Campbell. And it could be a... A morally good one, even if he doesn't get the victory tonight. Many of us believe he will become a world champion. Can he possibly do it right here, right now? Made to miss, and that's expending energy as well. Lomachenko. He's a master of that, isn't he? He's on the, he's, like, like Paulie said, those little subtle movements with his feet, with the distance, he's coming, he's not coming. You, you can't work out whether to, should you counter, should you let your hands go, should you wait a little bit longer. Very good difficult. Shot. Good work from Campbell. Campbell Follows up with the uh, uppercut. Campbell having some good aggressive moments in this round. But it seems to wake Lomachenko up, that. Yeah, <laughs> Lomachenko understands that he, he has to get the points back in order to win the round. And he tries to start stalking again, we'll see. It's out of range there, Lomachenko. Clever feet from Campbell. Yeah, well, Lam Lomachenko's always fainting with his feet. He's, he's, you know, he's making out he's going to come, and then he does it, and then he faints, and then all of a sudden he does come. Very difficult to keep that distance with him. Box of tricks. Oh, good shot from good Campbell. Up the oh, he's hurt. Big shot. Lomachenko here in the sixth Big round. Big shot, shot by Campbell. And he's had to hold in Lomachenko. 50 seconds left in the seventh. And what about that from Luke Campbell? Campbell's best punch of the fight. And a body shot, and Lomachenko tries to throw back, but he was momentarily troubled there, Lomachenko. And the crowd senses it. He goes to the body as well, Lomachenko. And Campbell starting to struggle back on those ropes as Lomachenko's accuracy comes through. What a seventh round. I think the gun shield out. And there's a body shot again from Lomachenko, who reacts to the spot of crisis with some brilliance of his own. And Campbell's now the one ending the round in trouble. And for the psychological factor, Lomachenko wants to get that back. And that's what he looked to do at the end of the round. What a great round, though. Brilliant round. Campbell definitely hurt. Lomachenko there, stunned him momentarily. Lomachenko, the great fighter he was, survived the moment and finished the round out strong. Here's the success from Campbell. What a good shot, and again, and he just looked a little unsteady, didn't he? Yeah, and Lomachenko went to hold after that as well, trying to, kind of to try to get the moment back and try to recover a little bit. He was floored by Jorge Linares briefly, but look what happened in the end. Yeah, I, think, I mean, I think he stunned him momentarily, but Lomachenko recovered quickly and then finished the round out strong, and he had Luke in all sorts of trouble, backed up against the ropes. I wonder what's going through Luke Campbell's head at this stage now. The brilliant father and 
Sun team in the red corner alongside us, the home corner of Luke Campbell, who's really got the crowd on the edge of their seats here. Hurting Lomachenko briefly, only briefly, in the seventh. And back came Loma, punishing his opponent in a way he can do so emphatically. Campbell still, though, throwing out classy leather. It's a great effort, this. It's a really good challenge when no one gave him a hope. Great effort, but I think, you know, the difference, Adam, is when Luke landed a good shot, and he, you know, he stunned Lomachenko moment, momentarily. It was momentarily. He shook it up quickly and then came back twice as strong. But it's not a total mismatch, as no, many said it would be. Definitely not. He's a... Uh... Now, Rob, let me tell you something. Luke Campbell is sharp tonight. It's just, he's fighting Vasily Lomachenko, but any other lightweight in the world will have a big problem with Luke Campbell tonight. He's, he's very sharp, but he's on it. Good shot by Lomachenko. Yeah, lovely, quick. Firing left hand and a right there from Lomachenko. Yeah, I think Luke Campbell's right up there with any other lightweight in the world. That is a Vasily Lomachenko. And you consider what Lomachenko does to opponents and how Luke is hanging in there each and every round. Probably losing most of the rounds, but hanging in there, giving Lomachenko something to worry about each and every round. Swapping body and, shots. And again, staying with that body attack, staying we, with it. We talk about concentration and, uh, you know, brain power and, and training the battery. Trust me, Lomachenko's concentrating in there as well. Oh, absolutely. He's always shown such an incredible resolve, Lomachenko taking every fight so seriously. Campbell's trained so long and hard too. And Lomachenko trying to step up the pressure here. He's trying to make a mental statement to Luke. Luke has to, has to make a statement back or at least not give up the positioning. Lomachenko's looking to make a big statement right yeah, now. He's trying to outgun the bigger man now. And this is where he's trying to break him psychologically. Exactly. This is where he's trying to break him now, break his will. This is where it's important when Luke stands his ground and fires back. Really good fight to watch now, quiet start as we thought, bit of fencing, two quality southpaws. But some really good action here at the O2 on this magnificent occasion. Just a bit sloppy there, maybe tired Campbell for the first real time. Good body shot, but Lamachenko comes back with a short jab and a nice backhand. Yeah, left hook though to the head as well of Campbell, and a right hand, he just seems to find a way to prize through here. Lamachenko, it's so brave from Campbell. This is good stuff from Campbell, good body shots, but Lamachenko comes back with two of his own. I wasn't sure we'd see toe-to-toe -to -toe between these two. Everyone applauding, great stuff. Let's get to Andy with George Groves. George, you one of the few going into this who's picking Luke. How are you seeing this so far? How's he doing in your eyes? Yeah, he's doing well. I just want him to just stick to what's working. Sometimes he's getting wrapped up in the, in the fight. He's having success and he's lingering and he's getting caught back. Um, they're both feeling the pace. I think Lomachenko's struggling with the size of Luke Campbell and the physicality and the strength of him. Luke needs to stay disciplined, stay sharp with his mind and see out this fight. Um, it's a championship fight. Uh, he's, still, he's still on course. He's still on course to win. Thanks, George. Second still on course to win, well, says George nine. Groves. He's a mile behind, isn't he, on your cards? Andy Clark has it by five. I think you've given everything bar one to Lorna. Yeah, maybe he, had another, he could have had a couple others, but, but it's, been dumb. it's been a close fight, a competitive fight, but it's been a dominant. You know, there's only one winner here for me. Yeah, I've got it 6-2. Grove's Four. still confident Lomachenko. that maybe Lomachenko will feel it physically, but he's still so rapid on his feet. No real signs of that, I don't think. No, good double jab there from Lamachenko. I, I like to see Campbell throw more straight left to the body, and I've, I've been saying it for a while, but I think you're just, particularly at this stage when, you know, a bit fatigued, just keep driving him back, it'll stop Lamachenko walking in on him. Don't loop it under, throw it straight. See, there's, there's that control of the distance again, just glides in and out of distance and snaps the head back with the jab. 
Well, he won 396 of 397 amateur fights. The best ever. It's unsurprising, but the way he's translated it into the professional ring to become a three-weight champion. Sensational. But I think this is a really sensational effort, this, from Luke Campbell, and he's had moments of quality too. He's still coming forward, he's still trying to apply the pressure. Now this is right about, and from, from, uh, trust me, Lomachenko's feeling the yeah, pace. And from the psychological perspective, this allows Lomachenko to realize that Luke is still, still a live guy in there. Yeah, he hasn't been able to break him. Yeah, he tried to break him a little bit last round, and then he realized he didn't, and now he's gone back to fighting tactically. That jab gets through from Lomachenko, now tries to jab the body. Anthony was telling us, Anthony Crawler, that Luke Campbell had the right attributes, the, the size, the reach, the quick skills to give Lomachenko more of a test, more of a, an argument than he did. But I think people will be surprised That's good by how hand. he's done. Good left hand there from Campbell. Campbell's having himself a decent round. Yeah, this is a good round from Campbell. Oh, good shot, Justin. We oh, good, good body, body shot. shot. Good body shot from Campbell. That one, that one made Loma bend over a little bit. And he's backed off. He may have slightly felt that body shot, but good left hand by Very Lomachenko. Very good left hand from Lomachenko. High class fight. Exceptionally high class stuff, Adam. Like when we said before, even there now, there's no punches landed or being thrown, but there's so yeah. much going on. This one, is, one, one guy trying to set a trap for the other one, trying to faint law, control the distance. So much going on in there right now. Yeah, this is chess, not checkers, at a very high level. Yeah, a lot of fighters do play chess. That's one thing Vasily doesn't do. Vladimir Klitschko does. He's ringside tonight and must be loving this. Luke Campbell's team must be very buoyant, though. They were closing in on the championship rounds and he's giving it a real challenge. Maybe a fair way behind, but he's still there. UK, Vladimir, with a little wave. <laughs> we miss him, don't we? <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was very effective. Yeah, stiff jab there. Just glides into range. It almost like a jumping jab. Good body shot from Campbell. Campbell's competitive in every round, Adam. It's just Lamachenko just seems to find that little bit extra. Crowd of love this one. Vasily Lomachenko into the tenth round, defending two of his belts. The vacant WBC on the line as well. Just a bit of. Uh, Tape is there or too much Vaseline. Vaseline? Too much Vaseline. They first met these two in 2003 at the European Junior Championships. There they touch gloves. Huge respect between the pair. And it's great to see Campbell, an almighty effort, box really well at times. Vasily Lomachenko in a handy lead on everyone's cards at ringside. And even back then, Luke Campbell said when he met Lomachenko at the World Games in 03, in the Junior World Games, he said he knew one day he would fight Lomachenko. He didn't know when, but he knew he'd be in the ring with Lomachenko one how, day. How proud are you of his challenge so far? Yeah, he's, I think he's acqu acquitted himself very well, and he's, he's, he's holding, handling him, he's holding his own. Lomachenko is up in the fight, but Luke Campbell is fighting a very, very good fight tonight. Good defense there from Lomachenko. And he's got Lomachenko's respect, bet that. Lomachenko has to be defensively responsible and constantly think his way through every round. Still yeah. trying to work the body again, Campbell. That's been a big tactic tonight. Good body shot again from Campbell. Both trading hooks there. Campbell fighting up the ropes. Oh, Campbell absolutely has Lomachenko's respect. He knows he's in there with a, a high quality operator. He's, he's having to think and work for everything. And I wonder, Talking to him after his Lomachenko, whether he'll say that, that of all the fighters he's fought, Campbell right up there. I think so. Right up there. 
His feet, the keeper at work distance, he's landed some body shots. He's never really allowed, even though Lamachenko's winning the fight, he's winning the round, he's never allowed Lamachenko to get on top of him and dominate him. Even when he hurt him a little bit towards the end of the round, he came back out there and, you know, boxed his way back into the fight. It's a bit tentative there, Campbell, and when he gets caught on the ropes, he wants to be out of there. He's had three wins since the defeat of Jorge Linares. He looked good last time in Philly against Adrian Young, took him out. Can he find some power late to hurt Lomachenko? And it was, you're right, just very briefly, wasn't it? Momentarily, earlier on in the fight. Yeah, it was a split second. He recovered, you know, a second later. He just, he, he hit him with a shot he didn't see. Momentarily stunned him. I wouldn't say hurt him, but uh, he shook it up pretty quickly and, 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 came, back, and came back with a vengeance. You know, guys, another very tactical round this round. Body and head from Lomachenko. Are you surprised that he hasn't found a way to really up it in patches and put Cameron under more pressure? And especially sort of the end of the fifth and sixth, he was doing that. No, not really. I thought that uh, Lomachenko would win the fight on points or maybe get a stoppage laid on like in the championship distance rounds because you've got to understand Luke Campbell is a is a real high skill high tactically a really really good fighter he, he achieved gold medal after gold medal as an amateur you know as a professional he's lost twice once when he was probably too too soon for him against Ivan Mendy and, and Linares there was nothing in that fight so I'm not really surprised that he's doing as well as he is to be honest Let's have a look at the uh, wonderful footwork of Lomachenko. They do not stop them, still in those fluorescent boots. No, he's on, and as Paul is there, he's great at just messing with the distance. He's, he's teasing as if he's going to come in. He's going to come, and he doesn't come. He takes a little step back, then he's back in range, and all of a sudden, it's a little too quick step, and he's on top of you. That's why you're constantly burning energy with him. He's kind of in range, not in range. He's on that line. And he change and he changes distance with you. Look at the subtle it, it, subtle in steps, the subtle out steps. A lot of times he'll he'll give you a feint and step out. He's looking for you to fight and fall in so he can hit you with a counter. If he gives you a feint and he steps out and you don't fall in, the next time what he'll do is give you a feint and he'll step in because he knows you're not gonna fight on it. So he knows you're gonna catch you flat. Six minutes to go. Vasily Lomachenko in a very handy lead here. As most of us expected, but many didn't feel Luke Campbell would hear the 11th bell. Many didn't feel he'd hear the second half of the fight, but he has. He's been resilient. He's had some success. In, e in virtually each round, he just hasn't won them. And he has proved himself a world champion in waiting, I feel. I think so too, Adam. Like I say, Luke Campbell is a world-class fighter. It just so happens he's in the division at the same time as Alamachenko. Very, very close fight out of Linares. We commentated on it. Could have got the decision. Could have gone either way. We don't know what Lomachenko will do after this. Been talk of a fight with Miguel Burschlet at Super Featherweight or Javonte Davis. There's some good body shots going in there for Campbell. Yeah, trying again with the right hand. But as soon as he takes one Lomachenko, he responds. It's the footwork and the movement, though. It's just, as Paulie said, he's, he's, protect, he's gonna come, he's not coming. It's very Lomachenko. difficult to time him. Every once in a while, Lomachenko goes for it and tests out how much you have left. Seems like he's going for it again here. A few rounds ago, he tried it. He didn't get long Luke out of there, and then he kind of backed off for a few rounds. Now he's trying it again. Left Good shot. Out. Great shot from Lomachenko. Is he gonna wanna try and seal the show with a knockout? He's loved it here in London. He's really enjoyed himself. He was... So overawed by the welcome at the York Hall and at Spitalfields Market at the weigh-in. And here, he's trying to tee off, but so is Campbell. Yeah, he's hurt Campbell to the body here. Yeah, big shot there. Uppercut body shots. Yeah. Campbell uh -huh. hurt. He's down. Finally, in the 11th round, he takes a knee. And there's still plenty of time for Loma to get the dramatic finish. Luke Campbell's brave, spirited and excellent effort. He's got here to go comes Lomachenko. He's got to try and close the show out here. Rights and lefts. Campbell desperately trying to hold on and see out the round. 40 seconds to go. It's going to be a long 40 seconds. 
He took the knee, which was the right decision. It just gave him a few seconds. But Lomachenko, the hand speed, the variety. As he goes to work on Campbell, will he get through the 11th round? Vasily, I think that Vasily, Vasily is also tired because Vasily should really be cutting off the ring right here and trying to get him out of there. But he's instead he's kind of waiting on Campbell. He's going to allow Campbell to recover, but I think it's also Vasily who's going to recover his his oxygen as well. Yeah, big right hand from Campbell. The round goes. Was he a bit tired there at the end? There, Lomachenko the round. He nearly got the stoppage. Excuse the language in the corner, but Shane McGuigan really trying to get his man out. That's the body yeah. shot. Two it body shots. It all. Yeah, two body shots. A straight left into the flowing rib, and then the right, like a right screw shot almost into the pit of the stomach, into the solar plexus. Horrible shot to get hit with. Then Dev switches the attack upstairs. Gave himself some time there, Campbell, and he made it through the storm. There'll be a, a lot of people that want Luke Campbell to hear the final bell here. What will we have in the last three minutes? Huge respect between the pair. Top quality boxing, but maybe it's just a world champion in waiting and an elite world champion, and there's not much... There's nothing for Campbell to feel. Nothing down about it at all. Absolutely. He's not disgraced himself one bit. He's actually, I think, acquitted himself very well. And I think on any other night against any other world champion, Luke Campbell might have become a world champion tonight. I think so too. I think anyone else across the ring from Luke Campbell tonight, far for Sally Lomachenko, he will be world champion. And I bet you anything Lomachenko says that exact same thing afterwards. Campbell. Is there anything left? Last couple of minutes. Will Loma put the icing on the cake? Or is he happy just to glide through? Not really his style. No, I think he's, he's going to want to try and get the knockout. I think he's going to try and let Luke burn up some energy in the first minute, minute and a half. And I think when you see that clock go one minute 30, he's going, to, he's going to put his foot on the gas and he's going to try and get the stoppage. I think he's doing it now at a minute 50 in. Campbell retreating. They must be both so tired. What a pace it's been fought out. Victor Lachlan, a wonderful job to referee this. It's uh, something he'll be able to tell his grandkids about. But he's hardly had to do a thing. It's been clean. It's been classy. It's been really good. Good body shot there for Cabo below. He's not happy there, the Ukrainian. Keep him up. That might have been the old Felix Trinidad trick. If you hit him low to give you a break. Yeah, I was going to say, he won't mind us <laughs> join the clock down a little bit. <laughs> Luke won't mind the break himself if, if one with hook it, you know? Stay edges forward, Campbell. Hasn't had quite enough tonight, but he has, as Paulie said, acquitted himself so very, very well. Campbell's still going for it. Here comes Lomachenko. And the best thing is, the crowd have loved it. He's going to lose this fight, Campbell, but his reputation, his stuff has gone way up. Here comes Lomachenko with a grand slam finish. Campbell almost goes again. He's got to hold Lomachenko's leg. And Victor Lachlan's got to tidy it up. And that was just survival tactics by Campbell. He was hurt. Smart tactic by Campbell to get just, himself a break there. Just get pushing down Lomachenko. Yeah, at times like that, you just got to get through the moment. But well, whatever means necessary. There's experience there shown by Campbell. Lomachenko can't quite get the stoppage. 30 seconds left. He's been dominant pretty much. Lomachenko, but Campbell's been in each of the rounds. He's been, he's been competitive throughout the fight, Adam. He hasn't been winning the fight. Lomachenko's been well on top. He's way ahead of Michael. I've given uh, Luke Campbell a couple of rounds, but he's been competitive in every single round. Way ahead, Vasily Lomachenko, who will retain his belts on paper in absolute style. But in reality, Luke Campbell, stand up and take your bow. That was a great, great performance from Paul Hanley against the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world in Vasily Lomachenko.
Lomachenko, who displayed his class from start to finish. Great respect. There'll be friendship between the pair. Boxing at its finest. Absolutely. Lomachenko, you're lucky to be here tonight to witness absolute greatness. Pound for pound, the best fighter in the world. Maybe the best there's ever been. You know, unbelievable. I mean, his agility, his movement, his, the way he controls everything, it's just... It, the, the, the Renault, you can't use enough superlatives when you're talking about Lamachenko. Well, Luke Campbell also, fantastic performance. Dug in with, with a couple of times there. You thought he may have been a breaking point. Lamachenko come out and really tried to stick it on him, trying to break his will. L Luke dug in, found an, another gear, stayed in there, toughed it out, got through the moment, and uh, you know comes out and, and goes through the 12 rounds and, and was competitive for the whole fight. Yeah, he was the second best. No one's disputing that. There was only one winner and a very dominant winner. But Luke Campbell was made Lamachenko work. He made him think. He made him. He made him miss it. He, you know, L trust me, Lamachenko is going to sleep well tonight too. Bob he knows he was in a fight. Bob Arum and Todd DeBerf, the kings of top rank, have just let down and said to us, "What a good fight! It really was. These two amateurs." Now they meet as professionals and the respect and the love of the crowd for both of these guys is fantastic. I think we all know it's going to be wide to Lomachenko, but let's bring in Andy for your analysis. Well, the final score on my card was 119-108 in favour of Vasily Lomachenko. I gave Campbell the opening round. Not a great deal happened in terms of punches being landed. I thought he was slightly more ambitious, more proactive, so I gave him the opener. The second was very, very close. After that, though, he just turned up the heat bit by bit. Luke Campbell did well to never allow him to completely dominate. And a decent performance from him, but a clear, clear win from someone who looks nigh on untouchable. 119, 108 on Andy's card. Matt's is about the same. Paulie, I think, maybe slightly closer. It should be wide, very wide and unanimous for the brilliant Vasily Lomachenko. But well done, Luke Campbell, tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of lightweight action, we go to the scorecards. Judges Benoit, Roussel, and Omar Mintoun both have it. 119 to 108. Jean Lauberlain scores at 118 to 109. All three scorecards go to the winner by unanimous decision from Ukraine. Still WBA, WBO, and ring champion, and now the new WBC lightweight champion of the world. Pound for pound, perhaps the best there is. The man known as Loma Vasile Lomachenko. As we expected, virtually everything to Vasily Lomachenko, who adds another world title, the WBC belt, the three-weight champion who oozes class. He is exceptional. And it was an utter privilege to watch him up close and personal. Absolutely, Adam. Like I say, we, we may have just watched the greatest fighter that has ever been. Everyone says Sugar Ray Robinson, the best pound pound fighter of all time, and, and, and that's right. But I think this, when, when this guy's career is over, he'll be in that conversation. And when you're up close, you really can see the foot movement and the brain ticking over and the amazing repertoire he has. And Luke Campbell was good tonight. Really, he, he was better than good. He was at, he was brilliant tonight. He, ju he had to be to put on that performance and to stay in there with someone like Lamachenko. He did a lot of really good stuff. He, he, he it's just he just came up against someone who's just that extra bit special. Did better than many thought he would, and he can go out of that with his reputation enhanced. And I think we all agree at ringside that Luke Campbell, when he gets the right maybe vacant title or world champion to take on, he will become. He will live his dream. It's not tonight, it's Vasily Lomachenko's evening. It's been his week in London, it's been the Loma show. But Andy will get a word with a very good challenger. Luke Campbell. Not, not to be for you tonight, but just how proud can you be of that performance? Um, first and foremost, thank you for the crowd tonight. The support's been unbelievable. Thank you everybody that came out to cheer me on, really appreciate it. How good is he? 
Well, he's, he's just beat me, so he's very good. You know, he's, um, yeah, he's a special fighter. We all knew he was a special fighter. Um, but, you know, this is boxing and we train to win. Obviously, I'm disappointed in myself from the victory. You know, and, um, but it's hard to follow a game plan when someone like that is so good in front of you that always adapts. You're in that horrible position of being in the same division as a once in a lifetime fighter, but do you believe deep down still you can win a world title? It's twice you've come uh, in this ring, twice you've come up short, but in very good performances. 100%. I mean, with the support I had here tonight, that following me, I can go on and achieve anything. You know, tonight was Lemachenko's night, and my time will come. Shane, you will have had a game plan and tactics. Uh, was it what you expected from Lomachenko? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to prepare for him. You know, we, we did ourselves, you know, I feel like Luke did himself incredibly proud tonight. Um, he boxed an amazing fight against a, a, a once in a lifetime fight, as you said. So, um, and I, you know, until the body shot, I think he was in the, he was in the fight very close. There was a couple of close rounds, but I think he did so proud. Okay, commiserations to you, Luke. Vasily is in here somewhere. Vasily, are you happy to talk? You're still WBA, WBO champion. You're now the WBC champion. That's three of the four belts. Tell us how you're feeling. Of course, I'm happy. I wanted to say, to thank you, to say thank you for all people who come to support us, to support this beautiful fight. I wanted to say thank you, people who organized this fight. And of course, I'm happy. And next, IBF. This is my title. I was going to ask you about the crowd, not just tonight, but the whole UK experience, the open workouts, the press conference. In central London, you've been stopped and cheered everywhere. What's it been like in the UK? Like I said, in UK fans, the best fans in the world. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. We'll talk to Bob Arum. You said you want the IBF. Richard Comey, Teofimo Lopez box in December. Will you wait for the winner of that fight or will you box in between? I don't want to. Of course, I won't uh, fight next, uh, but it depends. Bob Arum. OK, well, he's here. Let's have a quick word. Bob, he says he wants unifications. What have you got planned for Loma? Well, we're going to, obviously, we're looking to win the fourth belt to unify the title. But Loma and Igus have told me they can't wait to come back to the UK to fight here again. The English fight fans are the best fans in the world. He said, there's a, there's a clip that's gone uh, fairly viral where he said, I can't be a superstar because I can't express myself in English. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he speaks a lot better English than I do Russian, <laughs> right? I mean, he is a superstar. And Luke Campbell didn't disgrace himself. He fought a hell of a fight. He's a hell of a fighter. Big, big heart. And Luke will be back. The British fans know when they've seen something special. You've promoted some of the greatest fighters in boxing history. Where do you rank Loma? He's up there with the greats. Muhammad Ali, Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao. He belongs with those, those fighters. Do you believe he'll stay at lightweight then and wait for the winner of Comey against... Uh, uh, Comey against uh, Teofimo Lopez. Apologies to Teofimo yeah. Lopez. Apologies, right. apologies. Comey to Teofimo right. Lopez. And then we're going to fight the best fighters at featherweight, the best fighters at super featherweight, and the best fighters at lightweight because there are a lot of good fighters out there he can make featherweight easily he can make 130 pounds easily and all of these guys will fight you're getting a good cheer because alexander usik is here putting faces behind you photo bomb blows it. alexander <laughs> you can't run away how good is he? Vasily dead. Vasily dead today. Would you give him a mark out of 10? What do you How much percentage you give Vasily? One, 10 out of 10. Always. 10 out of 10. 10. Always problem. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, not bad. Vasily, final word to you. The final word. What do you want to say? Your final message. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. You are, you are the best. Thank you. And I promise I come back to UK. Thank you. You would come back here to fight again? Of course. Thank you for coming.